Hello, my name is Dr. Richard Myron, and I'm happy to present Dr. Picos's textbook, which is titled, and you can see the cover here, Bone Augmentation and Implant Dentistry, and it's a step-by-step -step guide to predictable alveolar ridge and sinus grafting. Um, and so it's a new resource, of course. It's been in production for about one and a half to two years, been working very, very hard on it. It encompasses six different chapters, so it goes over basically everything that he's done in his 30-plus year career with this 25,000 plus implants and all the procedures, uh, 2,000 clinical photos, so it's really a, a huge resource with a lot of step-by-step -step guidelines, a lot of personal notes in there with a lot of pearls, and so I'm just going to briefly go over um, what the book is about and explain the different uh, chapters that are involved in it. Um, quickly, just going over it, the first chapter focuses on instrumentation, uh, so all the instruments that he's using in his daily practice. Um, this chapter here is a little bit bigger. It goes over the concepts of uh, the various membranes that he's utilizing, titanium meshes, all the grafting materials that he uses, whether it be how to collect autogenous bone particles versus blocks, uh, growth factors, um, and grafting materials. Um, chapter three gets more into the technical aspect of uh, single site management, so extraction site management, uh, with a lot of different cases that I'll briefly go over shortly as well. Chapter four is on alveolar re reconstruction. Uh, chapter 5 on sinus grafting, and then chapter 6 is on full arch and what he's doing with uh, end sequence. So if I, I'm going to briefly go through the book um, and what's involved in every single one of them. So the first chapter is on instrumentation. So here it discusses the importance, of course, of CBCT, um, goes over all the hand instruments that he has for the various uh, techniques that he's using, so whether it be alveolar bone grafting or soft tissue grafting, and of course all of the different uh, devices that he's using that helps him along with what he's doing in implant dentistry and alveolar ridge reconstruction. Um, so this is the shortest chapter of the textbook um, and goes over, of course, the background on osteodensification burrs. The second chapter is on biomaterials, and of course this is a bigger chapter and it goes really over the biology of why we're using the different types of materials. Uh, again, the first portion of it is on barrier membranes, so it discusses non-resorbable membranes versus synthetic membranes, um, and then goes over all of the different applications, uh, what's involved in them, what his preferences are, why those preferences are there. A lot of the discussions as well on what type of grafting material to use where, so what bone graft, why to use an allograph, why to use a xenograph, what are their biological properties. And so the two most that he's uh, utilizing, of course, are Mineros and as well as Biolos and discussion over why, when, and where. Um, with respect to growth factors, of course, many of his cases are augmented with LPRF. So there's discussion over the biology of why we're using these uh, blood concentrates um, and kind of the history from PRP to PRGF to uh, LPRF. Um, then he gets into BMP2, and of course that's a big one for anybody doing bone augmentation. Its uses, which are discussed later in the, in the, the book. Um, so that's that second chapter. The third chapter, of course, now we get into clinical cases. And one of the huge things about this book is that there's nearly 2,000 clinical photos. So it's really a uh, broad spectrum and it encompasses pretty much everything that he's done over his 30 plus year career. Um, in this chapter, goes over kind of the wound healing properties uh, that are involved in extraction site management and then of course the cases that are presented so um, I'll just get an example up here of uh, a full case it goes over all the step step by step so here's a nice one you know step by step what's being done uh, if you have labial plate compromise for example all the steps now what's really interesting about this book here um, and different from most of the books is that in the figure legends in black there's um, all of the different aspects related to normal figure legends. And interesting in this book was there's all this blue text that you find here. So there's little personal notes. And these notes are all basically Dr. Picos's personal uh, hints, hints, tricks, pearls, everything related to each case is specific. So, you know, why did I use LPRF there? Why do you use an allograph? It's all the inside information that's not really provided in a lot of different books are all provided in these little blue notes. Sometimes there are a couple of sentences. Sometimes they're, for example, here, full paragraphs. You know, where do you need to pack the graft? How, how densely packed should it be? Um, why did I use certain membranes or implant, implant sizes, etc.? And so there's really a lot of discussion uh, in this third chapter. Of course, 
This third chapter also focuses on newer concepts as well, such as the socket shield technique or partial extraction therapy. Um, so there's, there's discussion over that concept as well, when he's using it, when he's avoiding it. Uh, a lot to do with grafting procedures for soft tissues, which is of course one of his big things is every implant surgeon needs to be comfortable with uh, hard tissue reconstruction and soft tissue. Um, chapter four, of course, is more to do with the things that he's doing on a regular basis, so alveolar ridge reconstruction. I would say this is the biggest chapter of the book without question. It goes over the history, um, discusses the finger sweep that he invented many, many years ago, um, and then all of the steps, step by step, what's important for alveolar ridge reconstruction. So, you know, there's a lot of content in here that's available in his, in his courses, but they're really nicely condensed here, uh, step by step. It's a, a very, very good resource for uh, everything that he's doing and of course goes over you know block grafting what he's doing with block grafts uh, whether it comes from symphysis or ramus and then goes into particulate of course one of his big thing is using a tie mesh with uh, a lot of stuff with BMP2 so those cases come a little bit later um, how he's collecting autogenous bone and a lot of the BMP2 and again the nice thing about these uh, you know these chapters is all the personal notes that are in there that are basically helping uh, the clinician out while they're reading through it Um, chapter 5, again, is another big one on sinus grafting. Without question, that's another big one. Uh, sinus grafting is, you know, personally, it's one of my favorite ones because I find there's so much information that's not available. And uh, you see a lot of, you know, very small one-day type courses where you can learn sinus grafting. Um, whereas this book really, it's, I believe this chapter is 66 pages. So it really goes over, you know, what you should do when you have different situations, clinical situations, and indications. Um, talks about, again, the background and a lot to do with uh, biology and, and what to look for. Of course, the radiographically, what you're looking for, et cetera, and the classification. So that's the first part. And again, the medications, the antibiotics that he's using, uh, rinses, et cetera. Then it goes over two-stage protocols and one-stage protocols. Um, again, when you look at uh, the figure legends here, you can see really there's the normal figure legend and then everything in blue again is all these little personal notes. And see it says here, example, note, I prefer to include one papilla for anterior, etc. It's all the little tricks and details that are uh, we've, were added purposely into this book to really facilitate the reader and the learning experience for the reader. Of course, here's his uh, typical, for those that have taken any of his courses, the PICOS uh, membrane repair technique. Uh, it's illustrated in detail here. Uh, with the protocols that he's using. Uh, so again, there's a lot of info here. You can see a lot of the diagrams here and the book is published by Quintessence. You know, we have very nice uh, diagrams that are available in the book as well that go over kind of all the different crestal approaches, explain them, you know, what's being done. And then more recently, of course, a lot of use of osteodensification burrs without question, um, some figures here and then cases. So again, these are full cases that are done. Again, when you look at the size of the personal notes here, it's all, you know, what's being done, why he did it, why did he use collagen, why was it cross-link, why is it non-cross-link, why did he combine uh, allograft with xenograft in these cases versus others, maybe just use one of the two. Um, so there's a lot of details here. And again, this is probably one of the bigger, the two big ones are the alveolar ridge reconstruction, of course, this sinus augmentation technique. My favorite part of the whole book, this is just my personal opinion, is all the complications uh, related and kind of what to do in these complications. So there's a huge section on complications related to uh, sinus grafting, what to do when. Um, you can see some of these cases that are presented here that he's done over the years that are just absolutely, um, you know, these huge types of polyps, et cetera. What to do with these cases when you have large repairs, uh, perforations of the sinus, et cetera. So, that chapter there is a, a really nice one. The last chapter of the book goes over um, full arch. So this chapter here again, a little bit shorter and it kind of gives a intro into all of the conventional, all on four, all on X. Um, and then it goes into more of his end sequence protocol that he's doing uh, with more of the digital dentistry. So again, this is all very well explained in this portion of, of the book. Um, and uh, one of the, the things that I like was with the, the PICOS Institute, of course, everything's very well demonstrated and laid out. So you really get the step-by-step -step, uh, protocols, how this, this is done. And you can see these are very well detailed step-by-step, -step, everything that's being done. Again, with the notes and the explanations of what you should do. 
Um, so the book is between 250 and 300 pages. Again, it's got 2,000 clinical photos. Um, a, a, definitely a reference for alveolar ridge reconstruction. Um, I'm sure the colleagues that end up reading it, looking forward to getting the feedback, of course, from it. And so that's basically the textbook in a nutshell. The easiest way to get it, of course, is online. Um, you can order it through www.picosinstitute.com.